Hi, my name is Laura and I'm a data scientist at DataCamp. In this intermediate R for Finance course, you will apply what you learn in the introductory course to work up to more fun and complicated examples. Along the way, you will learn core data science tools such as if statements, loops and functions with the majority of examples being related to finance. In this chapter, you will be introduced to the basics of how R handles dates. For financial data, dates can be as simple as regular yearly data or as complicated as high-frequency millisecond data. So it is important to understand how R represents them internally. Let's get started. The easiest way to get started with dates is by asking R what today's date is. The sys.date function, short for system date, does exactly this. When you execute this function, R returns the current date. Here it returned March 14th, 2017 in the standard form of year, month, day. What is the class of this object? The class function tells us that it is a date. In R, there are two main classes for this type of data. One of them, as you just saw, is date. Date is used to store calendar dates. For finer resolution, the POSIX classes are used. The two classes, POSIX LT and POSIX CT together, allow you to hold the date, the current time, and the time zone. For simplicity, this course will focus mainly on the date class, but I highly encourage you to check out other data camp courses, such as manipulating time series data in R with XCS and Zoo, to learn about other classes. One of the most common ways of creating date objects is from character vectors. In the example, you can see that as.date is used to convert the character date into a rdate object. The date, March 4th, 1957, is the first time the S&P 500 opened in the form that it is in today. While it might not look like much happened, SP500 underscore birthday is now of class date and is stored internally as the number of days since January 1st, 1970. You'll confirm this in the exercises. Great. Now that you've been introduced to dates, you know enough to work through the first few exercises. Have fun!